Monica Calhoun, a multi-talented actress whose compelling performances have captivated audiences for decades. Beyond her prowess on screen, Monica is also a devoted mother to her blind son, a connoisseur of classic cars and a proud homeowner with a stunning abode worthy of envy. Join us as we take a closer look at Monica's extraordinary life, exploring her passion for acting, her dedication to her family, her impressive car collection, her luxurious home, and her thriving net worth in 2024. Get ready to embark on a journey through the multifaceted world of Monica Calhoun. Monica Calhoun was born on July 29, 1971, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA, into a family that was shaped her love for the arts. From a young age, Monica displayed a natural inclination towards performance and storytelling. Encouraged by her supportive family, she honed her acting skills and participated in various school plays and local theater productions. As she grew older, Monica's talent became increasingly evident and she soon caught the attention of industry insiders. Her breakthrough came in the late 1980s when she landed her first major acting role in the critically acclaimed television movie, Children of the Night. This early success paved the way for Monica to pursue a career in acting with unwavering determination. Throughout her career, Monica has demonstrated versatility and depth in her performances tackling a diverse range of roles across film, television, and theater. From heartfelt dramas to lighthearted comedies, she has consistently delivered compelling performances that have earned her both critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. One of Monica's most memorable performances came in the 1991 film The Boy Who Cried Bitch, where she portrayed the troubled teenager Angel. Her portrayal of the complex character earned her widespread praise and served as a launching pad for her career. Throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, Monica continued to impress the audiences with her compelling performances in films such as The Players Club, The Best Man, and its sequel, The Best Man Holiday. Her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters solidified her status as a rising star in Hollywood. Monica Calhoun has portrayed a diverse range of characters in her career, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Some of her notable roles in movies include Angel in The Boy Who Cried Bitch, 1991. Monica delivered a powerful performance as Angel, a troubled teenager grappling with a difficult family situation. Her portrayal of the complex character earned her widespread praise and showcased her ability to convey raw emotion on screen. Ebony in The Players Club, 1998. In this film, directed by Ice Cube, Monica played the role of Ebony, a stripper trying to navigate the challenges of working in a gentleman's club while pursuing her dreams. Her performance in the film was both charismatic and compelling earning her recognition for her portrayal of the ambitious character. Mia Morgan in The Best Man, 1999, and The Best Man Holiday, 2013. Monica portrayed Mia Morgan, the supportive wife of Lance Sullivan, played by Morris Chestnut. In these beloved films, her portrayal of Mia showcased her ability to bring depth and authenticity to a character, earning her praise for her chemistry with her co-stars and her emotional arrange. Ashley, in Love and Basketball, 2000. Monica had a memorable role as Ashley, the sister of the protagonist Monica Wright, played by Sana Lathan. In this romantic drama, her performance added depth to the family dynamic portrayed in the film and further highlighted her ability to bring authenticity to her characters. Brenda in The Salon 2005. In this comedy drama, 
Monica played the role of Brenda, a hairstylist dealing with personal and professional challenges. Her performance showcased her comedic timing and her ability to infuse warmth and humor into her characters. Beyond her professional achievements, Monica is also known for her unwavering commitment to her family. She is a dedicated mother to her son, whose blindness has inspired her to become an advocate for individuals with disabilities. Despite the demands of her career, Monica prioritizes her family above all else, finding balance between her work and personal life. There is no sign that Monica Calhoun will reveal who the father of her child is anytime soon. Although she has not denied that she is a mother, the father of her child remains a mystery. However, the Philadelphia-born actress has been romantically linked to actor Miguel A. Nanez in the past, but neither party has ever released confirmation about the relationship and there is no information on Miguel A. Nanez. Monica Calhoun retreated from acting so that she could focus on taking care of her special needs child. Taking care of someone with a disability is not something new for Calhoun, as her younger brother, Eric, is also blind. The way I grew up is just a little bit different than anybody else, because my brother was born blind, so my perception of the world and things is just a little bit different, says the actress. Calhoun reveals that her compassion and sensitivity are now heightened because of her brother and spending a lot of time with him, as she taught him things that she had learned and taking him to his programs at the Braille Institute. I got a chance to experience life on a different level, says Monica, who says that she has learned to have the same kind of patience that she saw in the people who would volunteer to work with children with disabilities. Monica's strength and grace may come from her mother, Lorraine Calhoun. Ever since then, Calhoun has continuously proven that her son comes before her career. The actress loves flaunting the tight-knit bond between herself and her son. Despite the challenges of his being blind, it could be observed that the youngster trusted his mom to take care of him no matter what, and Calhoun sure didn't betray that. The heartwarming exchange between the duo is one that continues to make the clip one that will always remain evergreen. The actress singly raises her son, but this is not obvious despite the challenging bit that he is a special needs child. The gorgeous entertainer still does an excellent job and has attributed this to the fact that she grew up living with her brother, who was also born blind. Monica Calhoun's net worth stands at about $5 million as of 2024. She has accumulated her wealth from her acting and directing jobs. As her career is nowhere next to be over, it is expected that her net worth will continue growing. Monica Calhoun has ventured into various business endeavors beyond her acting career, leveraging her creativity and entrepreneurial spirit. One notable venture is her foray into the fashion industry, where she has collaborated with designers to launch her own line of clothing and accessories. Additionally, Monica has demonstrated an interest in philanthropy, using her platform to support charitable causes close to her heart, such as those related to disability, advocacy, and youth empowerment. Moreover, she may have invested in real estate ventures, leveraging her financial success to diversify her portfolio. Monica Calhoun resides in a lavish $4 million mansion that epitomizes luxury and sophistication. Situated in an exclusive neighborhood, her sprawling abode boasts exquisite architecture and opulent amenities, offering the perfect blend of comfort and elegance. With spacious living areas, state-of-the-art facilities, and meticulously manicured grounds, Monica's home serves as a sanctuary where she can unwind and indulge in the finer things in life. From grandiose entrances to meticulously designed interiors, 
Every detail reflects her impeccable taste and discerning eye for design. Whether she's entertaining guests in the lavish entertainment spaces, relaxing by the poolside oasis, or enjoying quiet moments of solitude in the serene surroundings, Monica's mansion is a testament to her success and status in the world of entertainment. Dear viewers, next we invite you to admire her beautiful card collection. Right now, Monica Calhoun boasts an impressive collection of cars, with each vehicle embodying power, style, and luxury. Among her prized possessions is the Ferrari California, a symbol of automotive excellence, priced at approximately $116,000. This sleek masterpiece is equipped with a twin-turbo V8 engine, boasting a capacity of 4 liters and a staggering 552 horsepower, delivering accelerating performance to the rear wheels with a top speed of 196 miles per hour, an acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. The Ferrari California is a true marvel of engineering's interior is a testament to comfort and luxury, featuring beautifully stitched leather surfaces and an 18-way power front seat designed for optimal support and relaxation. Another gem in Monica's collection is the Porsche 911. Valued at around $114,000 and renowned for its exceptional performance and timeless design, the Porsche 911 is powered by a twin turbocharged 3-liter flat 6 engine, generating 300 and 79 horsepower and 331 pound per foot of torque inside the cabin. Meticulous attention to detail is evident with options such as woven leather or the heritage design package, fabric trim executing elegance and sophistication. Adding to her impressive fleet is the Corvette C5, priced at approximately $68,000. This irretiable machine is equipped with a robust 6.2-liter V8 engine delivering 490 horsepower and 465 pound-per-foot of torque, paired with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive. Their Corvette C5 offers a thrilling driving experience. Its interior is characterized by solid construction, premium materials, and futuristic design elements that create an ambiance reminiscent of a high-tech jet cockpit. In addition to her high-performance sports cars, Monica also owns the Chevrolet Tahoe, valued at around $779,000, boasts a powerful V8 engine with options ranging from 5-liter to 6-liter the Tahoe delivers impressive horsepower and torque for both city driving and off-road adventures. Its spacious interior is adorned with luxurious touches, such as real wood trim, perforated leather upholstery, and exclusive color schemes, offering passengers a comfortable and refined driving experience. These cars are really extremely luxurious, aren't they? What car do you like the most? Please comment below.